What is up, people? Welcome to my video. This is Scramble from Emotional Crypto Trading. Today, I'm going to talk about BTC and share with you the most important details of the market, such as price predictions, price analysis, data that matters, and anything you can monetize. Right? So, it's going to be a video which includes both educational and possibility to monetize the content I'm providing in trading, guys. We're trying to survive above 8,500, but the pressure is gaining and the bulls do not seem to react anything during the past days. So if they do not stand up right now, it's going to be big trouble because the retracement process is going to continue down, break below 8,000 and we're going to enter in a long-term bearish environment. That's not going to be great after this huge increase we just had, which could result in nothing if the market is going to continue the process of retracing and then falling into a dramatic sort of a way bearish environment. You know what I'm talking about, which is full of fear, full of negative sentiments and full of sort of a way um, anxiety all around the corner. We don't need to fall there. Therefore, we need the bulls to stand out right now and save the market if they want a 2020, or at least if they want this first part of the year, first three months to stay above 10 grand, if they want that, then obviously we need to stay above $8,000 in November and December. We can't fall below $8,000. That is the limit which is going to eliminate the rally we just had. Basically, we're falling very close to the starting point of the rally. Now, let me just measure. From the starting point till 8,000, do you know it's just 7%? And we've actually increased about 35% on BTC. So that's crazy, guys. It's about 30% which can be deleted by the bears in a very, very sustainable movement they had till now, 21 days in a downtrending channel. Very, very aggressively with uh, powerful established resistance line, powerful established support line on the bottom side at 9,500 heavy resistance they successfully break below 0.61 Fibonacci right there. Here, this is the place they broke below and then confirming it as a resistance. So clearly refusing the market to get back into the uptrend and consider the movement we had before that as a bull flag, like a lot of the people thought this is a bull flag, right? But then the market have decreased in break below the line of 0.618 supported on 0.5 Fibonacci going back to 61.8 and confirming on the resistance plus it did confirmed on the um, trending line of resistance which was a very very powerful bearish confirmation from here the signal was clear to short the market aggressively on 25x $200,000 ready to be managed a very nice profitable business what we had afterwards is a bearish movement across a couple of days across four days till the point we have touched the support line of the downtrend and we have measured a comeback which seems to me a bear's filler representing here a shadow on the candlestick. You can see that right there. There is a shadow which represents rejection of the movement, which was controlled by the bears. So the bulls were like, till here, nobody goes beyond this. And from there, we're actually in a critical situation right now. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We're in a critical situation. Bulls needs to be wake up and reverse, otherwise the previous rally becomes useless. That's something I was talking about on the early part of this video. So we need to react as fast as possible, otherwise things are gonna get vanished away. Great. 
The RSX indicator, which is something I'm talking in my previous videos as well, is also forming here a very nice support basically in the previous movements exactly on the support line. And now it is trying to break the middle line of 50, stay above that and probably attack the resistance line of this specific triangle of the RSX indicator and break out of it. We're going to go bullish once we're able to break out of the green line we see here on the RSX, which is going to be a similar movement of breaking out of the resistance line for the downtrending channel, right? So that is going to be hand by hand, guys. Very important. So that is the situation for the two hour candlestick. This is where we are. Critical zone. And I'm assuming there is going to be an explosion from here. Take a look at take a look at the candlesticks. And it's just I'm seeing right now spontaneously. Take a look at this candlesticks here on the left side. Take a look at those. How are they looking like? And then you want to see the red candlestick right there next to them on the left side. Is it familiar to you here? Sort of a way, very, very similar sideways candlestick with nothing special and extremely low volume. Right? Take a look at that. Plus, on the left side, we have a wing of the bears. There you go. It's just smaller than what we had here on the left side. Right? Just smaller than what we have here. But we wouldn't mind if we would have an increase right now, half percent than what we had just a couple of, what was that, weeks ago, like two weeks ago, we had that rally. It was on 25th of October, right? So we had 36% confirmed. If we go half of that, you know, that's 18%. If we go 18% from here, it's going to be $10,000. If we tend to repeat the same pattern. Great, beautiful. So let's just go ahead to the one day candlestick where I'm talking about something specific. I'm going to also share a screen on my Twitter profile, which you can retweet towards to people and express the following sentiment of the market which we're trying to bring into question for the cryptocurrency community. This was the bull period of 2017-2018. You remember BTC up to $20,000. We're looking for one day candlestick. Uh, we had a lot of these sentiments going on, such as the takeoff, media, tension, FOMO, enthusiasm, greed, anxiety, denial, anger, euphoria, euphoria, panic, depression, right? All these things that happen realistically in front of our eyes. This is basically a pattern which is used to repeat over and over again because it stands up and it backs up the nature of the human being that do not change us whatsoever, right? So we're the same human beings with the same characteristics of, of nature and this sort of a way feelings emotions and irrational thoughts are always going to appear whenever the market follows those cycles so basically every single step is generated by the previous step automatically because it's based on the human nature which does that no matter what right so it's you know in a logical way and my question is related to this part. Uh, let me just put this this way. My question is related to that part. Is this a big bear trap? Just like we had some bear traps here. Is this a big bear trap or not yet? That is my main question. Or basically, this is the second big top, which is kind of following this way. We could consider this as a second big top with the market going basically like this and then forming here a support like that, something like that. We have a lot of the choices that we could put together here. 
and then the big explosion here which drives the market to a new all-time high position more than twenty thousand dollars this is a possibility guys this is a scenario if this is not a bear trap if it's a bear trap it's great because we're gonna take off just like we did right here which is the next step after the bear traps right a lot faster which could be probably at the end of the year early 2020 instead of delaying the breakout till july november october something around that so this definitely needs to be sort of a way like the first steps of the previous pattern with the bear traps they're appearing we can see those we have some increases but then the bear traps are appearing people think that we're going bearish we're not it's just a trap we're actually going upwards right but then everything starts blowing out with the takeoff which in our case needs to break out out of this line guys that is the top that is the top once we break out of that we're into the takeoff phase that you can see right here and then from the takeoff phase there is no bear trap there's nothing that could drive our attention away from 8000 to 20 in this case scenario which is beautiful it's beautiful if you have 10 bitcoin from 80000 you're going to 200000 not bad you can make 120000 dollars just by sitting on your money for about 3 months not bad at all but we have to make sure that this is a bear trap right now that we see and it's not going to continue down and just like that right and trying to get back afterwards somewhere in the second part of 2020 inevitable 2020 need to represent market movements above 10 grand for the longest period of time or sort of a way for a longer period of time better said not for the longest for a longer period of time right so 2020 is no longer going to be the year of a joke if you want to become a professional trader and trade this market which is about to come this bullish market you definitely need to learn and then earn it's normal process of human being again we're relating to the psychology mindset and mentality which is you know sort of a way uh, some parts which are building up the education and that means you need to learn the skills of the trader in order to do that I have a program which is scramblecoaching.com that is teaching on private directly with me how to become a professional trader and trade like the trader which is on profit since 2014 like I am trading professionally living from this and having my own lifestyle um, that do not connect me to any boss do not connect me to any uh, intellectual authority which is telling me how to think and organize my life I'm like a bird flying in different countries living the life and doing nothing else basically other than just uh, whatever I want this is as an example not to brag or put in practice or put in spotlight how high I am because that is no longer the case and it's it never was the case it's just a matter of what kind of lifestyle you can achieve by trading if you want such a thing if you need freedom if you want to be your own boss and decide then you need to become a trader and I'm trying to help all the people here make sure you watch the video scroll down the way we're going through dozens of students they have made more than 3.5 million dollars during the trading business they had and you know it's just great we can have a free conversation on Skype directly with me on 15 minutes if you have more questions as well you can join my telegram guys for those who are looking to get notifications whenever I'm posting on YouTube join my telegram links can be found in the description area for my coaching and telegram make sure you subscribe to my channel guys I would definitely appreciate and uh, 
hit the bell button afterwards. Next to the subscribe button, you have the bell button. Make sure you hit that because that way YouTube is going to send you notifications whenever I'm posting. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a beautiful weekend and we'll talk to you soon.